Hello viewers, I welcome you all from HLT of Tech channel. Today we are going to talk about plugins and plugin execution pipeline in Dynamics CRM. As you all know that plugin is a custom business logic, just like a workflow, uh, which integrates with Microsoft Dynamics CRM to modify or further extend the standard behavior of the platform. Uh, if we uh, talk about uh, plugins and event handlers and are registered to execute on a particular event in CRM. Plugins are written in either C Sharp or Visual Basic and they can run in either synchronous or in synchronous mode. This is just same like workflows. Workflows are also uh, configured in either synchronous or asynchronous mode. If we talk about the event frame, event framework in CRM progress uh, processes synchronous and asynchronous plugin requests by passing it to the event execution pipeline. This is a processing framework which is responsible that whenever the plugin uh, is executed on based on some event, this framework passes uh, it into uh, plugin execution pipeline, which we will study uh, later in next slide. Okay, whenever an event is triggered, a plugin logic, uh, whenever plugin logic is triggered by an event, a message is sent to the CRM organization web service where it can be read or modified by other plugins or any core operation of the platform. It is very essential to understand that uh, plugins, whenever they are executed by any event, they uh, go into uh, the organization web service where dynamic CRM web services checks whether it will not interfere in any core operation of the platform or not if it is okay to be executed then the web service of crm will allow it to execute otherwise it may uh, make it to be in hold state waiting state or uh, read state only so let's start about the plugin pipeline stages first of all the first one is pre-event that is known as pre-validation, then uh, pre-operation, then main operation and post-operation. Okay, pre-validation uh, is a process or event in which stage in the pipeline for plugins that are to execute between the main system operation. Plugins registered in this stage may execute outside the database transaction. So this is since a pre-validation state. So Plugins that are registered in this stage are executed outside the database transaction. Then comes the pre-operation in which stage in the pipeline for plugins that are to be executed before the main system operation. Up till now, uh, it's same as the pre-validation. Plugins that are registered in this stage are executed within the database transaction. Because after the pre-validation process, uh, pre-operation process is uh, carried out in which actually the uh, event is validating the database transaction okay after that there is a main operation in transaction the main operation of the system such as create update delete and so on are uh, carried out in platform core operation event that is main operation and no custom plugins can be registered in this stage for internal use only okay so the next one is post operation that is stage in the pipeline for plugins which are to uh, execute it after the main operation plugins registered in this stage are executed within the database transactions so these are four uh, main steps of plugin uh, execution pipeline and uh, now we will also see some important things that, uh, that uh, a sequence of actions that take place for example whenever the crm application works an event like saving or updating a record, the following sequence of the actions take place. The event triggers a web service call and the execution is passed through the event pipeline stages that is pre-event, platform core operation and post-event that we have studied earlier in our previous slide. So this event triggers a web service call and execution is passed through the event pipeline stages. The information is internally packaged as an organization request message and finally sent to the internal CRM web services method and platform core operations. So a package comprising of uh, the organization request message is sent to the internal CRM web service and platform core operations where it is checked that whether it will uh, contradict with any uh, core operation or not. Okay. 
Then the organization request message is first received by pre-event plugin, which can modify the information before passing it to the platform core operations. For example, it may uh, assign it to a specific queue, it may give it to a wait state or etc. After the platform core operations, the message is packaged as organization response as a re result of organization request the message is packaged as organization response and passed to the post operation plugins the post operation plugins can optionally modify this information before passing it to the async plugin okay after all the plugin process completes and the execution is passed back to the application which has triggered the event so if we talk about plugin messages messages are the events on which the plugin is registered for example, you can register a plugin on create message of contact entity. This would fire the business logic whenever a new contact record is created. After all, the plugin process completes, the execution is passed back to the application which triggered the event. And these are some of the plugin messages that is assigned that uh, user owned entities only. It is applicable to user owned entities. You can study them at your own convenience and uh, this is all about the plugin execution pipeline in our upcoming videos we are also going to see practically about how to create or develop a plugin and to register it in crm uh, to make it applicable and how the plugin passes all the plugin execution pipeline stages okay so this was just a theoretical introduction of the plugins and uh, in our upcoming videos we will enjoy the practical sessions as well i thank you all for watching this video if you have any question or query leave it in the comment box so that i can help you at to the best of my knowledge i thank you all.